I've exported this entire sales navigator search, which includes 5,000 plus results and turned it into this spreadsheet with everyone's LinkedIn profile URL, first name, last name, job titles, company names, and many other data points, including some of my leads work emails. And I've done this using only one tool. If you're watching this video to find out how to export over 2,500 results from LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you caught the right one. First, we need to understand one key element. LinkedIn Sales Navigator only always displays 2,500 results per search. Even though it says here 5,000 plus or 10 million or 100 million, it will only show 2,500 results. If I click here on select all, it will say 25 selected. This means that in this very page, I can only see 25 leads in total. And there are a total of 100 pages. Let me show you this here. So if I type on page 100, there's no more page I can go after this one page. As you can see, 100 page is the maximum and I cannot go further. So I'm not a math genius, but 25 by 100, I think that's 2,500, right? So now that's the problem. How do we bypass this limit? My recommendation is that you break down your searches using several filters. You can use the company headcount, the company type as well, but I typically recommend to use years in current company or years in current position. What I did in this example is that I used the current company. So if I select, for example, less than a year, one to two years, three to five years, you will see it's gonna give me a certain amount and I'll see it on the top right-hand corner here. I see 1.5K plus results. And for the rest, I see it's 1K and another K. This way allows me to at least have searches of below 2,500 results. In order to export them, I use a tool called scalist.com, which is the number one LinkedIn sales navigator data extractor. I recommend you to sign up to the free trial, which will provide you with a certain amount of credits so you can try the tool for yourself. But for large exports, I highly recommend you get a paid subscription. Now, once you signed up to Scalist, you'll be prompted to go to the Chrome web store and find the Scalist extension. You can add it to your Chrome by clicking on add to Chrome, add extension, and now you're set up. Let's head back to sales navigator. Once you've installed an extension, I highly recommend you to refresh the page and you will see on the top right hand corner here a new button that appeared that says export leads. This is from the Scalist extension. Since I broke down my search using the years in current company filter, my first search will include people who have between one to five years of experience in the current company. My second search will be only six to 10 years and my third search will be more than 10 years so that I can export every time below 2,500 results and make sure I get all my leads. From now on, the process is super simple. I simply have to click on export leads. It will prompt me onto the Scalist dashboard where it will give me a bit of a review of what I'm trying to export here. So as you can see, I can rename my page here. So I'm going to call it CEO test. So that's the name of my list. It tells me there is 1,985 leads on my list and I can still find the source URL. Here the toggle is on, which is useful if I do not need emails because then the export can be done faster. But since I need the emails, I'll keep it off so that it also finds the emails of my leads and verifies them at the same time. Now I simply have to click on export 1,985 leads and it will start it telling me where it's queued and how much time it's going to take. But since I've done it, I will just pause the video now and show you the three lists that I've exported. So here I've exported my three lists, zero to five years, six to 10 years, and then 10 years plus in terms of experience. And I can see that I have exported for this list, for instance, 1,202 leads. Scalist has found 858 emails, out of which 781 are valid, 77 of which are risky. So it has even verified the emails, so I know which ones are safe to use and which ones I have to be careful with. And I can choose to preview which columns I want to see on this dashboard here. But no matter what, I'll always get all of the columns when I export it to a CSV here. I can either export the list in CSV one by one, or I can create a folder by clicking on the plus sign here. I'll say CEO test. I can always rename the folder and I can simply drag and drop the lists into this folder. So for instance, as you can see, I just dragged one, I do the second one, now a third one. If I go back to the folder, I can see all of my lists. I can either have a list view or I can see the entire list put together. Now, same process. I can click on export CSV here, export all leads or valid emails only. I'm going to click on export all leads. It will load it for a little bit and then it's going to download it. Voila, here's the final result. I've opened my CSV file either as an Excel or in my drive and I got all of my leads. Look in URL, first name, last name, company names, industry, and many other data points, including their work emails and the validity status so I know which ones to use. And here you go. No more limits at exporting leads on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which I know is a super frustrating element because I suffered it myself as well. If you want to ramp up your game at Sales Navigator, I highly recommend you watch this masterclass, which is made just for you. So happy scaling and over to you.